Most countries take a census every 10 years, but Myanmar has not done one for 30 years. The country lacks reliable data on how many people it has, where they live, their ages, or their livelihoods, knowledge crucial to building the economic and social infrastructure as Asia's second poorest country tries to establish peace and democracy. To close the information gap, the government plans to conduct a nationwide census starting on March 30, 2014. It will be a massive undertaking, requiring nearly 100,000 enumerators to visit millions of households in just a few days. One year beforehand, a pilot census was conducted throughout the country to test the process of data collection and public involvement. As Myanmar has not done a population and housing census in 30 years, we will use this pilot experience to better understand how to successfully conduct the nationwide census in 2014. To prepare for the pilot, village maps were drawn up, communities were informed, and school teachers were trained to do the counting. The pilot was conducted in 20 townships around the country a cross-section of Myanmar's diverse geographic and cultural mosaic. On Inle Lake in southern Shan State, Kin Nin Yu came to the home of U Cha and Ma Nain. They sat together for nearly half an hour, answering questions about family members, their education, occupations, religion, ethnicity, birth and death, and more. The family has 11 children. Everyone must work to help make ends meet. There is no money to pay for school, so the children only attend through third or fourth grade. Before the pilot started, local leaders had explained that better data on people's educational levels and employment status could bring more resources to the community. We can't order people to cooperate with the census. We have to persuade them that if they give correct answers, the government can plan properly to fill the gaps in our area. In a country emerging from military rule, officials recognize that some people may be wary of authority. To avoid sensitivity about uniforms, we have asked the administrative staff to wear civilian clothes. We also explained to people that the census has nothing to do with taxes. Planners are working hard to learn as much as possible from the pilot census in order to improve the procedures. At the end of each day's counting, enumerators reviewed their experience and reported to officials. Some experiences were profound. With the help of a local translator, Sandar Wynn interviewed families in a village near her hometown of Loika in Kaya State. She was deeply moved by the poverty she found. As educators, we learn to teach differently to children with different levels of understanding. In this community, with its different dialect, I use a similar technique, speaking slowly and steadily and using understandable gestures to explain the questions. To learn more from the pilot, an independent team of researchers monitored the teachers' interviews. They spoke with the families afterwards to see how well they understood the questions. For me, I checked the, whether they are asking the question correctly or not, and also uh, do they follow the, met, the method, the, the research method that, like, uh, some kind of rules that they shouldn't break down in, during the data collection, such as the asking leading question or inferring the answer. UNFPA, the United Nations Population Fund, deployed the monitoring team to help the government learn as much as it can from the pilot exercise. Uh, UNFPA will provide uh, technical support mainly because technical um, expertise in the country for censuses is, is very scarce uh, due to isolation over many years and UNAP will also help the government in terms of mobilizing the financial resources that are needed for completing the census. International support will be critical to conducting a census that counts everyone, boosts Myanmar's development, and gives hope to its poorest people. Yangon motorcycle taxi driver Lang Ko Ko Ong, 22, and Kin Tae Luin, 19, 
haven't gotten much except hope. Hope that life will be better for their two sons. I'm trying to save money for my job. We want our children to be able to go to school when they grow up. For UNFPA, this is William A. Ryan reporting from Yangon.